of a navy for the uh, Americans at that time. So what they did is they um, offered something that was called a letter of mark. And the letter of mark was signed by uh, the President of the United States and gave that boat the opportunity to become uh, really a legal pirate. And during that time, a lot of people in, in the Casco Bay area took advantage of that. So they built ships specifically that were very fast and very quick. And what they would do is they would come upon the uh, enemy, which was the British at the time, and they would um, they would uh, board the ships and they would take over the ship and uh, take the cargo and sell it. And that was a way to help the uh, United States government. Well, Freeport was a really big um, shipping area. And they had a lot of shipbuilding going on in Freeport. And there was a family there by the name of Porter. And today there's still Porter's Landing. You can go to Freeport and see Porter's Landing. And the, one of the ships that they made over there was the Dash. And it was a brig. It was a pretty good sized one. And so they, um, they went out and it was a fast privateer, they were very successful. And then um, one, on one voyage they never came back. And all hands were lost, no one knew exactly what happened to it. They were sailing with, uh, kind of in convoy with another American ship and all of a sudden, you know, it kind of disappeared. And for many years after that, there would be, in Casco Bay, especially coming out of the fog, people would see something that looked like um, a brig. It looked like a, an old-fashioned sailing vessel. And so it became, uh, the legend evolved and called it the ghost ship of Casco Bay. And there were poems written about it. And, um, and a lot of people who lived in Casco Bay and still live around the Casco Bay area now, had relatives who were lost on that ship. And periodically, you know, you still hear people say that they saw the ship. Whether or not they saw the ship, whether or not it was, you know, the fog can play pretty funny tricks. It could have been, when they thought they saw a mast, it could have been a tree on an island, you know, on a ledge. Uh, it's hard to know, but that has, um, that's been a, a legend in Casco Bay since the War of 1812. <laughs> A high school student who lives on Peaks Island also claims to have seen a ghost. He has pictures to prove it too. Peaks Island, in the Partridge, where uh, I live, there's a rumor like of an old pastor who still you know, is there and stuff. And, uh, so we had this like painting on the wall, and uh, like every day we come downstairs and it was like on the you know, it was on the floor. And like whenever it's there, my cat would always like meow at it. So, you know, obviously the ghost you know, didn't like it. So, and at one point, me, uh, Stephen, and Stephen Talbot, and Sam Ferguson were uh, sleeping in the living room. And uh, it was like late at night, like at 12. And um, all of a sudden, like the lights, like most of the lights burnt out. Like the one next to us, the one like on the, you know, on the far you know, end of the room. And usually that's a sign of like the ghost taking energy. So then Sam, he had a you know, the digital camera and he's like randomly taking a picture. He like for some reason took a picture of the wall. And when we saw it, there was like some uh, like orbs, you know, in the in the picture. And that's usually a sign of ghosts. These are the pictures that David took. The circles that you see in these pictures are orbs. As David said, they are usually the sign of a ghost. Another tale we researched was that of a spirit who wanders the graveyard near the school. Because it led to dead ends, we went to investigate it personally. We're going to investigate the ghost of the graveyard now.
Meet me up at the graveyard. I'm going to promise you for a second. Okay. Hey, David. David. Did you find anything? David. Where are you? Come on, man, this is funny. Dave? Dave, is that you? Dave? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Dave. Yeah, right. You're fucking up now.